Hello friends, I'm back with another Remnant 2 video. In this one, we're going to be going over the Postulance Parlor location on Lawsome in the Fey enemy area. You're going to recognize this area because this is where you play the tic-tac-toe game with the Fey looking dude at the top of the room. And if you look at the map, it looks like a 3 by 3 grid similar to the grid that you're playing on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully win the tic-tac-toe game if you don't know already and get to the room behind him to get the bow as your reward. And I'm also going to show you how to get to the rooms with secret loot in them, even the co-op one. And yes, there is one specific co-op room that you can get to if you have two or more people in your party. It is a specific co-op ring, so solar players don't worry because you're not going to use it anyway. Co-op players, you might not even use it anyway, but I'm going to show you how to get to it. And we're going to be using a map to do it all, so you can just screenshot that and use the map if you know your way around the area. So first thing you need to do is win at the tic-tac-toe game. Now, if you're in a co-op party and you have two or three, you can have the other person or people run around and check all the open doors while you're playing to try and grab as much loot as possible because while you're playing, and moving the pieces around, that's what's going to be opening the doors. I'll actually explain the mechanic of the doors right now so that if your other players want to run around and do that while you're playing, they can. That's going to allow you to get the loot a little bit quicker. So basically, all of the rooms are going to match up with dots on this board. If there is a white piece, meaning yours, your pawn piece, or whatever you want to call it, if there is a white piece in the space, or the space is blank, the door is going to open up. So for the double doors, you're going to need to have a space in there and then make it become blank for the door to open. But we're going to go through each one. So the default board when you come in here looks like this, meaning that the top left, top, middle, and the bottom left rooms are going to be open. Top middle is where you're sitting playing the game right now. So that is going to be open, allowing you to get in there. And then the one on the top left actually has a chest in it. Both times we've done this, it's had a chest. So I don't believe that it's random. I think it's there to hint at the fact that there's things in the other rooms. So even if you're solo, you can go grab this before you sit down at the table. Then the other door that's going to be open is that bottom left, which is where the co-op ring is located. However, you're going to have to open a second door. So you could try doing that one first if you want and just move that white piece over to the bottom left. Or you could try to win and then reset it and do that all over again. And then while we're talking about all the rooms, we may as well go over all the rewards. The trait point and the ring in this area are going to be random. So you're going to have to run around and look at different rooms to find it. These are just a couple of the locations. We found it out in the open. We found it in the side rooms. We've also found additional chests in the side rooms. So it's worth trying to uncover all the fog on your map and checking in each of the rooms. And then there is the full set of the Fey armor in the top right, right room. So here is the map. This is where all the items are. The ring that's in there is going to be random and it's not actually in a side room. It's actually going to be in the box square, so in the general area. So you just want to take a look at all the areas. It was in the top right once and it was in the bottom left the other time that we did it. So I'm not sure if it's completely random or if it's always in those two locations. But since that top left is always open when you first start the game, the top right and the bottom left are the only two rooms that you really have to worry about opening. And like I said, you're going to do this by removing pieces from there or putting white pieces onto there. So you need to try to move into the top right on the game board in order to get into those rooms. And then you need to try to move to the bottom left to get into those doors. And because the bottom left is that double door, you're going to need to move in it and then move out of it to get both doors open while somebody is standing there. So somebody's going to stand in front of the first door. 
you move your piece into that spot they're going to move between the two doors and then you're going to move your piece out of that spot and then they're going to be able to move into the next door and i know this is a lot for the person that's playing the game they're going to get a lot of curse on them because they're going to be moving pieces around a lot they may lose etc you can only go up to five times curse so you're never going to fully die from this and then to the final part actually winning the game and getting the reward from winning the game. The one tip I will give you guys is to not go for the middle unless you are going to win because having that piece in the middle and having no other option but to move it out has caused me to lose quite a few times. So these are the steps that I took. Always try to lock the black pawns into the corners if you can lock their pieces into the corner they have nowhere else to go but to move that middle piece out of the middle and then you take the middle and you're good to go so that's a quick way to do it it's a lot easier said than done but try that method and see if it works for you once you win the game you're going to be rewarded with the royal hunting bow the co-op ring is called the Game Master's Pride and it reduces all healing by 50%, but it splits all damage and remaining healing evenly among all allies wearing this ring. The other ring we found in one of the open areas, like I said, I don't know if it's random, was the Stone of Malvolence. And then, like I said, there is a trait point you can get and the full Fey Royal Armor set. So make sure you don't just grab your bow reward and leave. Again, here's the map where everything is located. Thank you guys so much for supporting my Remnant 2 videos. I have so many more to make for you guys with all the secrets. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm trying to hit 50k before the end of the year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.